So I got a request for a Mugen tutorial on how to put music for your stages and for your menus in Mugen. I'm going to try to show you the best I can because technically I use a different Mugen but it should work either way. But first off I'm going to show you what I mean. Let's see. Let, I have a Mugen here. We're going to open it up. Uh, we'll just go right into training or actually yeah, we'll go to watch. Single, pick Chrono, pick Frog, go to the Chrono Trigger stage. If you listen, there was no music playing there. As the match starts here, this battle is about you listen. To explode. Fight. There's, there's still no music playing. Like nothing. Nada. It's kind of, kind of lonely. Anyway, what you want to do first is download the music that you want to use. Like if you saw, I have a Chrono Trigger stage. So technically, I already downloaded the music. I got the Chrono Trigger theme, which is a great theme, you know? It plays, it's a good theme, you know? Hopefully I don't get flagged. Anyway, you wanna take the theme you want for your stage, go to the sound folder in your Mugen, and we're gonna put that theme in here. We're gonna, Right click it, rename, we're going to copy the name. Now here's the most important thing, the stage that you want to put the music on. You go into your stages. The name of this stage is the 12,000 AD stage, whatever. You go in there, you scroll down all the way to music right here where it says BGM music. We're going to put sound forward slash the theme dot and this is an mp3 file um, basically you can use dot waves they work a lot better because it's easier for Mugen to read but um, if you're gonna do an mp3 file you need to download a plugin which is very easy to find online anyway do that you hit file save you can exit out of there now to show you how you put music to your menu it's a little different for me but it's basically the same way you're going to do it. Basically you want to go into your data folder. You want to go to your system folder but my system folder is actually located in big right here. This is what I use. I use the big Mugen. This is how I'm able to get like the 60 character select screen and all that. It's it's located in your original Mugen 1.0 download. It has a very easy readme in there to tell you how to use it as you know big Mugen. Anyway you want to go into your data folder. Now, it works also the same way, but for me, when in data folder, let's say these two themes I have. I have the Dragon Ball GT character select theme. I'll use it for my menu theme. And the Marvel vs. Capcom player select theme, you know the dun 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 dun. In fact, here, I will just play them. The GT theme here, Final Bell. You hear it quite a bit in my videos. It's a really good theme. And then the Marvel vs. Capcom select theme, which is also a really good one. Should sound like that. Basically, you want to take these two themes. What I do, I put them in my data folder because, like I said, I use the big Mugen. So, we're going to right click, rename. We're going to copy the GT one. We're going to go into your system folder. Not the original 60, but the system folder itself, which is also located in your Mugen folder. I'm going to scroll all the way down to music. Now, I said I want the GT song to play on the title screen. So, right here where it says music to play at title screen, underneath music, music, or I'm sorry, title.gbm, you put, see, and it's in the data folder, data, forward slash, control V, the GT theme, dot MP3. Hit save. Now we're going to keep that open, we're going to go back in here, and we're going to get the Marvel vs. Capcom theme here, and rename that, copy. We're going to scroll down a little bit here where it says play at character select theme. We're going to do the same thing up there, data, forward slash, that, dot mp3. Basically wherever you put it in, like if you put it in the sound folder, it's going to be sound, forward slash, the name of the file, dot mp3, or dot wave, or dot mov whatever 
like I said, MP3s and waves are usually the best ones to use. You hit save. All right, you can exit out of there. Now let's test it out. I'm gonna go into Mugen. So when I open up Mugen, basically the Dragon Ball GT character select theme should play on the title screen. When I go into the character select screen, it should play the Marvel vs. Capcom theme. And then when we go into the actual match, it should play the Chrono Trigger theme for the stage I select. All right, let's get in there. Let's listen. Yep, there's the GT theme. Uh, let's go into watch. There's the Marvel vs. Capcom theme. So I get Chrono in there. Frog. And uh, the 12,000 AD. Let's see if it plays the Chrono Trigger theme. Yeah, yeah, there it is. This battle is about it's to very easy. Right. Very simple. I thought I'd just show the Chrono Trigger characters off because these characters are really good. Anyway, like I said, um, it all depends on where you put the sound for your file. Oh, frog about to crush it. Like, like I said, if you put it in the data folder, wherever you want to do it, it's data forward slash name of the file dot wave or mp3, whatever kind of file it is. If you don't know what kind of file it is, it's very simple. You can go over to it, highlight it. It says an mp3 file for the Chrono Trigger theme there. So, it's easy like that. So I hope this helps. Um, like I said, it may work, it may not. If it does not work for you, you have to download a plugin, which is basically an easy, quick search online. Basically, look up Mugen MP3 plugin or Mugen Dot Wave plugin. It's very simple, very easy. Anyway, if you wish for some other Mugen tutorials, I'll try my best. If I don't know how to do it, I won't do it. Like I think somebody asked me. How do you change the character portrait sizes? I kind of know how, but I kind of don't. Like, I don't understand what you're asking there. Like, change it in size in terms of, like, you want to make the size bigger on the character select screen, or you want it to fit on the character select screen. Two different things there. Anyway, I hope this helped. My name is Clinker Roth. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more stuff.